All right, I'm gonna do a little home video here. Everybody keeps asking me this last couple weeks, I'm not sure why, what protein powders are me and my family using? So I am going to show you. So I took some out of my cap, and in my cabinet I had four different kinds right there. Um, and so I'm gonna just talk to you real briefly about each of these. Um, these two right here are from Sam's, and they're pretty economical, or I wanna say like $29 or so. And they're pretty big containers compared to these other guys over here. Now, the difference between all of these, they're all different sources of protein. So these are gonna be your whey protein powder. daughters um, do not need that much protein at once. Um, typically, women can't um, metabolize that much in one sitting anyway, um, but my son, who is almost 18, can. Um, this one, as you can tell, it has um, some good ingredients in there, and it has some stimulant. Now, you can go hog wild and get all different types of supplemental things that are just pumped into these protein powders, but I just wanted to get a protein powder. I don't really care too much about a lot of other things in it because we bake with these, we put them in our oatmeal and different things. So they're not always just after a workout or before a workout. Um, now my son will only eat the chocolate, he will not even eat the vanilla. So talk about um, having a special taste. These scoops are really big too so when you put it in a shake it takes a lot of powder to do that. Now the next one is um, Nutiva, I believe is what it said. Basically everything organic. There's no way. It, um, it's just it's gluten free, all the above, and um, it says no stevia. So what is it sweetened with? Well, you got all kinds of things right there. Lots of extracts and different things. So this one is going to run you about two grams of sugar, which is pretty good. And the protein powder is a little bit less on here, but that's okay because you need tons of protein. Oh, and by the way, this really doesn't taste that good um, at all. So if you're going to drink it, usually it's a chug thing. The bone broth. Um, this one, I was surprised at how good it tasted. Um, this one has stevia as well in it, and it also has a little bit less protein in it, which is fine because, honestly, I am not taking protein powder every single day. I take protein um, powders kind of as a supplement if I am not getting it in my food that day. I don't come home from the gym every day and pound a protein shake. I like to eat my food. I don't like to always drink it. So there's other sources that you can have. You don't have to have a protein shake. So this is basically what we are doing as a family. And you have to ask yourself, why do I need the extra protein? If I am a meat eater or I eat lots of beans or vegetables, you don't necessarily have to have a protein supplement. Um, maybe I take it three times a week max, and my son will take it after he works out. Um, and truly, uh, I believe the Premier Protein from Sam's, it's economical, it's close, it's convenient, I can just get it. So it works for our family. Are there better things out there? Oh, I'm sure there are. If you ask one of the NFL players, they're going to have one that's better, I'm sure. But it's just not economical for our family. Um, the Nutiva one, that is um, kind of gross, so only I will chug that one. It has lots of vitamins in it, so that helps me. Um, and the bone broth one, um, I'm, Verdict is still out. I'm trying to see if it truly has a difference. Um, I had a little inflammation in my body, so I was trying to see if that would help with the collagen that's supposed to be in there. I think it is. I think I'm going to have to take it a little bit more and see. Uh, so Verdict is still out on that one. but. That's our protein choice. Decide what you want for your
your family and why you need it. And um, that's what we do.